Hello everybody, welcome back where we have Sharks versus Sharks in round one of the year eight playoffs. So it's going to be the Hammerheads versus the San Jose Sharks. Our team finished, was it second in the league, I believe? I'd have to double check, but we did quite well. Let me go here and just have a look. We had 51 dubs on the year and yeah, LA had an incredible year. They beat us in the division and... As a consequence of that, they also beat us in the league. But we were very close to that President's Trophy. So, great year from the kids. And we are now up against San Jose here in round number one. They finished 5-5-0. Five, five, oh. We, as usual, had an awful last 10, going 4-6-0. and oh. Don't know why that always happens. But, anyway, it is what it is. So, regardless, let me show you our lines quickly. And then I will show you San Jose's team. So, we got... Zadina, Barzell, and Raymond on the first line. And then we got Boss, Newhook, and Lysel on the second line. Verona, who is now down to an 80. We signed him at 85, so he dropped off quick. Uh, McLeod and more. And then Kapari with Lindstrom and Olafson. So I uh, wonder if I can... Maybe. Is Trent more? He's listed as fourth line, so I kind of want to do that because Kapari is 83 overall. He's a two-way forward. He kind of fits there. So maybe I will do that, and I could maybe, Verona is a, I think we don't have any actual centers here, do we? But does anyone have decent face-offs? Uh, Olsen has decent, so let's throw him there. And then we've got two snipers and a grinder on our fourth line, love to see it. But um, yeah, there you go, you got McLeod, Kapari, and Lindstrom, which is our third line, which is pretty solid. So maybe these guys will get some depth goals for us, you never know. So I don't think any of them are really like liabilities defensively. Um, three star, three and a half star, three and a half star, and then a five star physical for Trent Moore as well. That's awesome. Okay. Well, um, how are these guys defensively? Just to compare four star, three and a half, three star. Okay. So uh, it's not like a huge trade off there. Anyway, defensively, we've got Miro with Bouchard, Kavanov with Sergachev, and then Lajoie with Yuri. So that is a good defensive set up here as we have a total of plus five and we have teal and net at 90 overall and then joel as the backup and he is an 80 overall now but he's 27 so he's pretty much done he's kind of stuck there at 80 which is unfortunate but it is what it is once again let's have a look at san jose's lines let's look at the the other sharks you know let's look at the other tank uh view lines san jose so here we go San Jose. All right, so they got Goudreau. They got William Eklund, who's up to 88 overall. Holy crap. And then they got Ehlers. So pretty good first line. No, very good first line. Goudreau is sort of, you know, on the tail end of his career here, but still a good player, and I bet you he's going to put up goals. Uh, Kachuk with 86 overall. Sterling and uh, Gushin. Gushin? No, Gushin. Maybe. Who knows? I'm going to call him Daniil. Anyway, pretty solid second line. Oh my word, JT Miller, we found him. He uh, used to be a hammerhead. So did Kyle Palmieri, no! We all know how this ends. All right, guys, it's been a fun playoff run, but uh, I think we are we have to tap out here. Okay, anyway, their team's good. It's not bad at all. Defensively, they got Murray and Merkley. Then they got Romanov. Wow, okay. And Brendahan. Interesting. Schultz and Norlinder. Okay. So they do have a fairly solid defensive core. I still feel like we have the better team, but, you know, that doesn't really mean anything. It doesn't matter what I think. They do have John Gibson in Ned, who is older now, but he'll still get the job done. Then they got Colton Point. So, yeah, in the, in the net, they're not great, but, again, I doubt that means anything. So, without further ado, let's jump into it here. All right, here we go. First period. Oh, my word. That is a highly offensive... First period. They got the first two, but then we came back and got three. There it is. The depth goal scoring, baby. Second period will be a 4-2 to two lead for your Houston Hammerhead. Let's go to the... Okay. Really? JT Miller? Of course it is. Who else would it be? No way. How do they get two goals that fast? Then we give them a power play as well. Oh, dude. Both goalies are not playing great here. But the difference is one is an 82 overall and one's a 90 overall. Thank you, Kavanov. You... Oh, my days. Murray, no way, dude, chill out. How is Teal still in the net? Get this man out. That is horrendous. Yeah, of course, of course you do. Seven goals against Teal on the first game. 
Atta boy, stay hot. That is embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. There you go. There's your three stars. Let's continue. Oh, man. I don't know. Teal is just like... He's a flop in the playoffs, I feel like. Maybe not. Maybe I'm I'm overthinking it here, but... It just seems like he consistently does not get the job done in the playoffs. First period. Nice. Second. Okay. That doesn't mean literally anything, though. Because the third period, a lot of crap happened last time. We are getting some depth goals here, which is nice. A five on three. Five on four. And they get a shorthanded goal. Let's go. That guy has been tearing it up. Come on, hammerheads. Don't you dare blow this again. Absolutely not. Don't you be the Toronto Maple Leafs 2.0. Nice. Okay, there we go. Barzal with an empty netter. We take game number two. Whew, I was getting scared there for a second. Teal. Good bounce back game. I was definitely overreacting. He has played good in the playoffs, but he just has like random times where he just blows up. So, uh, yeah, that's, you know, the thing I remember the most. But he is fairly consistent a lot of the time. Game number three. It's a best of five now. one nothing for the Sharks after one. And, of course, Palmieri is going to score. one nothing after two. Here we go into the third, where most of the action seems to happen. Nice. Vrana going to get another depth goal for us, and then Barzal going to double it up there. We now have a 2-1 to -one lead. It is 2-1 to -one for the good Sharks. Five minutes left. Things are looking good. Keep holding them off. Keep holding them off. And no! No! Are you kidding me, dude? Eklund scores with, like, a microsecond left. And now, we have an overtime. Let's go. And we give them a power play. And we give them a power play. Houston is definitely winning in the shots department. But clearly that doesn't mean a whole lot. Because Gibson, even at 82 overall, is an MVP all-star goaltender. Come on. Come on. Yeah, no! Are you kidding me? We got another shorthanded goal scored again. Bro, I'm so done. I'm actually so done. Here's the three stars. Yeah, John Gibson. There you go. What a performance from that guy. <sighs> what do you mean morale's gone up for individual performance? You guys suck. You're trash. You guys are absolutely trash. Simulate game. Here we go. First period. All right, second period. Okay. Okay. Man, if we lose again, I'm absolutely obliterating this team. I'm, like, restarting, essentially. Vrana, oh, man. How is Vrana our best player so far? How is that possible? Of course, JT Miller scores. Because, yeah. Kind of surprised that Palmieri hasn't scored yet. No way, man. Absolutely no way. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. I love this game so much. Okay, let's continue. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go do best lines. Yeah, whatever the stupid computer thinks is best lines. There you go. All right. We have the best second line in hockey. And then Lysel they want on the first line for whatever reason. Um, I don't think there's a lot I can really do here to help out, so I'm just gonna leave that. And I'm not going to, I'm not, I was debating on taking Teal out, but I'm not going to do it. So we are one game away from being deleted in this playoffs. And honestly, I won't be surprised if it happens. Here we go. Come on, boys. First period. All right. Second period. Nice. Here we go into the third. It is 2-1 for the good Sharks. More going to put one in on Gibson. We get one from Lysel. Atta boy. Nice. Okay, so maybe best lines was the way to go. Boss is going to put one in on Gibson now. We are finally getting some offense going here. One from the Sharks there, but it's okay. I think that's Daniel. Still 5-2. Five minutes to go. Things are looking good for the Hammerheads. And we live to fight another day. Here's the three stars. More of the first star, Olofsson, and then Kavanaugh. Where's our, like, superstars? Where are you at? Okay, continue. And I guess Barzal is still leading the team right now. I'm just jumping to major conclusions in this video. <laughs> like, that's pretty much the theme of this video. Man of the Ridge jumps to conclusions. All right, here we go. We still need to win two more games in a row to survive. First period, second period. Nice second. Okay, there's Barzal. And Verona again going to put one in. So he is doing 
quite well for an 80 overall, I must say. Come on, power play. Power play, don't you dare let them kill that. We still have the lead. Five minutes to go. 3-2 game. Shots are sort of even, but still in favor of Houston. And once again, we hang on by a thread. It is time for game seven. All right, here we go. Continue. Game seven is here. Simulate up today. Don't you absolutely dare get my hopes and dreams up like this and then crush me. We have to win this game now. We basically have to win this game. First period. Nice. Second period. Oh, yeah, Kapari. Second period. Nice. Here we go. Game seven. Houston and San Jose. Both Sharks have their season on the line here. But Houston is in the driver's seat right now with a two-goal lead, 10 minutes to go. Power play for Houston. We get one from Miro. That's probably going to do it. I think that is the dagger. Raymond puts home another one. And that will just about do it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We actually managed to win three straight games to come back and win this thing. There's your three stars. Miro with four points on the night. Raymond with three. Let's go. Okay. Wow, I must say I did not see that coming. Simulate a day. Who is our next victim? We have the LA Kings up next. The team that not only beat us in the division, but beat us for the President's Trophy. I'm not happy about that. We must take these guys down. It's going to be a very tough challenge, I must admit. But I think we're here for it. So let's have a look at the points here. Go to the uh, player stats in the playoffs. And Barzal has 8 in 7 right now. Miro has 7 in 7. Olofsson with 6 in 7. This absolute legend. Vrana has 4 in 7, but it's all goals at 80 overall. Sergeyev has 5. Bouchard with 5. Raymond 6. Okay, let me just go down here. Boss only has 3. This guy, dude, like, he just doesn't do it. I don't get it. All right, and Newhook is really not performing either. That second line is just not, not working. And then Yuri hasn't done jack. But it's whatever. Okay. Uh, how is our goaltending situation? 9-15, 2-59 after letting up seven goals in that first game. So he's actually doing all right. Okay. Well, there you have it. The Sharks move on to round number two. And we'll be going up against the Black Kings. And I think we, we need to win that one. Because they beat us for the President's Trophy. So we need to beat them for the Stanley Cup. Although this is not for the Stanley Cup. It is to move further towards the Stanley Cup. So it is a massive series here. I'm very curious to see what their team looks like as well. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in round two where I will try not to jump to conclusions as much as I did in this video. I'm just pissed off. You know, I'm fed up. It's happened too many times. So can you really blame a guy? Yeah, you probably still can. I'll see you soon.